Now, ladies and gentlemen, the Counter-Strike Global Offensive Marketplace. A lot of people know at this point in time that Antwerp and Stockholm investments are not doing so hot. With Antwerp capsules being a little under what you could have bought them for a couple weeks ago for retail price at 25 cents on the CSGO item shop. They are, of course, going from 20 to 19 to even lower than that at some points in time during the day. And with Stockholm, well, the hollows are not doing so great either compared to what they were just a couple months ago. But on the bright side of things and the better side of things, cases are exploding up in price. Like the breakout is almost reaching five bucks. And we're, of course, seeing new highs with other lower tier cases that were just a few cents a couple months ago. With all that happening right now, with things going up, things going down, people are wondering what the future holds for a lot of these items specifically. Should you buy in right now? Now, I'm going to give my thoughts on that exact situation, what of course I'm doing personally, and where I see things going in the near future. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that like button and of course subscribe. And here's a quick word from our video sponsor, Skins Monkey. Now, today's video sponsor is of course Skins Monkey. Now, if you guys are unfamiliar with what Skins Monkey is, they are currently the biggest growing Counter Strike Global Offensive trading marketplace for skins, which is absolutely amazing with great fees as well. Let's just say you guys have some skins you're really not feeling anymore. Skins Monkey is the best way to trade them. In this trade, to be exact, I actually profited 18 cents, which doesn't seem like a whole lot, but considering it's a trading website it's actually very very good sign up today to get up to a five dollar bonus which is very nice and if you've never used the website before well you can use my code mando go up to the top right you claim that bonus and if you guys want to deposit with real life cash or crypto you get a 25 percent deposit bonus which is very very nice first thing i want to talk about is of course the active duty cases most importantly the most recent ones being added to the game that being the recoil case the dreams and nightmares case and the snake bite case all being relatively pretty high in price for what they are especially this snake bite case now 13 cents obviously it's not that expensive but compared to what it was before and what most people thought this was going to be before it's pretty expensive and it's kind of blown my expectations out of the water with most points in the year especially with the snake bite you've had a lot of opportunities to buy this for five and ten cents of course, now this being 13, not insane, but the fact that it's active duty, same with Dreams and Nightmares, and of course the recoil case, pretty crazy. Recoil case and Dreams and Nightmares, it's growing a lot in quantity, kind of similar to Snakebite, but not as much. These cases are a lot more in demand, especially with some of the golds you can get. So that's of course driving up the demand to open these things, and that's kind of stabling out the price. Now, I've had people ask me about investing into the active duty drop pool cases. I personally would not do so, and I don't think you should either. I just really don't think it's worth it at this point in time. There's too many things going on, too many things that can happen a case that could come out and have the same gold in the next case for all we know and that could just ruin the older case investment and we've seen this happen before with many other things might not be long term but of course it's going to affect you short term for non-active drop pool cases we're seeing things like the breakout case almost reaching five bucks which is just crazy to think about now this is something that's a little shaky on an investment right now in my personal opinion at this time of the year the past couple of years on the csgo marketplace and just csgo investing scene we see a lot of these cases reach new highs throughout the end of the year, going into the fall and like winter time of the year. And then we've seen them crash after, not crash completely, but they might go to half of what they are right now. For example, the breakout case, I think personally, will eventually go down to three, maybe $3.50, maybe even high twos and $2.90, so on and so forth. But of course, for things to start slowing down, we have to have the player count slowing down quite a bit, which at this point in time, hasn't really been proven that that's going to happen anytime soon. People love playing CS right now, even without an operation or source to or really any big content update, which is very good for the game, but it's causing skins in a lot of these cases to go up more and more and more. And I feel like at this point in time for cases anyway, and just with skins in general, same with stickers, it's like you're playing a CSGO crash, especially on like a gambling website where you're going in and you don't know when things are going to crash. And that's kind of how I feel right now. As much as I like to say, when an operation happens, things are gonna crash. We don't even really know if that's actually going to happen. Obviously that's been proven in the past to work, but the player count's been nowhere near there. And with more people playing the game, it's been proven throughout this year that cases and everything else are going up like crazy. And for the rest of the cases, and just even really any case in the game right now that's non-active duty, that I would invest in personally, like the clutch case I know is active duty, but it's kind of on the fence, like a 50-50. You have things like the Chroma 3, the Fracture, the Gamma, the Spectrum, which I know were also very high in price. The items that you've invested in maybe earlier on in the year that are very expensive now, those are things personally that I would sell and just go into something else completely. If that's an operation sticker from a previous year, an operation skin, or just a skin or a sticker in, the, in general, maybe from a pre past previous major. For the cases that are kind of on the cheaper side of things, maybe considering picking them up on a third party website, the uh, buff, CS deals, skin port, bit skins. Not sure if skin bid sells cases, but you kind of get the point. You can buy them on there 
for a pretty cheap price because it's usually always discounted on a third party website. And I can't believe I'm really saying this, but maybe investing in some of the lower tier cases right now isn't the worst idea in the world. Now, this, of course, is something if you're especially going into lower tier cases, you're going to have to sacrifice something. And that, of course, is going to be time. Now, with lower tier cases inside of CSGO, they have been growing like crazy in 2022, but they're going to be hitting a point and will hit a point eventually where they're going to start to slow down and you're not going to see the traction on them as you did prior. So that's where you're going to have to just pretty much wait. And if you cash out, you might lose some money. So that's something to keep note of right there. But for the 15 to 50 to 60, even 70 cent cases right now that are on the Steam market, I don't think it's the worst idea in the world to buy a few right now, as long as you're holding for the long term. And that's all I really have to say on those specifically right now. I think things like the Spectrum 1, Spectrum 2, Gamma 1, Gamma 2, the Chroma cases are really good, Fracture case isn't too bad. And the more things I'm on the fence on is of course the CS20 case and the Danger Zone case, and same with Prisma. There's just too many moving parts with them. There's a lot of fake hypes with them, but of course Prisma 2 and Prisma 1 have been proven to be all right as of recently. And of course the Revolver case ain't so bad either. Now where things are pretty bad at this point in time is of course Antwerp and Stockholm investments, especially Antwerp at this point in time. Now, my thoughts on everything going on. One, the quantity is not as high for as much as people are panicking. And this is something I do not suggest doing is panic selling. If you were one person to maybe buy a couple hundred capsules during the sale, don't really panic sell them now. There's not really a point. The stickers for how good they are and how good they look, especially some of the autographs, I think are really, really underpriced right now. And I think we'll see a lot of these stickers start to rise throughout the Rio Major if, of course, we get really bad stickers or just throughout the next couple of years. People will come back to these stickers and be like, wow, these are really, really cool. They're really interesting. People will start to like them again. A great example is Krakow 2017. Some of the most expensive stickers in CSGO right now are currently from that Major. Not the most expensive, but they're getting up there, especially some of the golds. This was a really underinvested year for CSGO. A lot of, not a lot of people were playing. Also, not a lot of people were investing. This was my first year I technically invested into CSGO. And at the time, everyone hated these stickers. No one liked them. No one liked the way they looked. Here we are now where these capsules are insane in price. Of course, some of the stickers as well being tens of thousands of dollars and people seem to enjoy them. So me personally, I'm playing the waiting game with these. Wasn't really a plan from the get-go to do that, but that's really the only option I think most people have at this point in time, because if you sell, you lose money anyway. And of course, with Stockholm, with it being really low in quantity and down a lot in price recently, similar to Antwerp, I think they actually might be a pretty good pickup for some people right now. Some of the capsules maybe, of course, like the Challengers capsule, and just some of the hollows from this year specifically. They've proven to have hype in the past, and I think a big problem with stickers right now is we're receiving too many. People are simply burnt out on sticker investing. And I think that's real. And I think it's happening right now. Let me know what you guys think down below. Do you guys agree? Do you guys disagree? I think going into something like cases right now, especially on the lower tier side of things, not active duty, of course, isn't the worst thing in the world. You just have to know the pros and cons. If you're playing the long-term game, I don't think it's the worst thing in the world. And with stickers, I wouldn't panic. All you really have to do is wait. And if you're new to sticker investing, especially for majors, this might be a little bit of a wake-up call for you as well. That it's a very large risk every single year. I've tried to be very vocal about this. There's pros and cons towards it. Of course, when you have something like Stockholm, it's really hard to just kind of ignore that. But you kind of have to look at it with rose-tinted glasses. And of course, goggles. Peace out, guys.